Hello and welcome to A Need of Sunlight to Law 4, the series where I talk about the story prior to games to help you understand what's going on better upon release. Today we will be talking about Diablo 3's Reaper of Souls, and we do have a lot to talk about. Okay, so we're going to start with the Eternal Conflict, which is the eternal battle between the angels and the demons. It is important to know that not all angels or all demons want to depart in this war, and some left heaven and hell to find somewhere away from the battle. They found a nice planet and named it Sanctuary, and began to reproduce with each other. The results of these interactions birthed a whole new race into the universe, far more powerful than the angels or demons, known as the Nephilim. This is what we play as in the game. Unfortunately, these were seen as being far too powerful beings, and an artifact called the World Stone was created to dampen their powers, which eventually led to a new race being born, known as humans. However, in Diablo 2, the World Stone was used to power a rift between Hell and Sanctuary, and was destroyed, meaning that the Nephilim power is slowly returning. Now that we know all the backstory, we can move on to what's going on in the trailer. The angel-looking guy trashing everyone is known as Malfail and was the Archangel of Wisdom and head of the Angerus Council before his mysterious disappearance. We are later told that his disappearance was related to his despair that in his great wisdom he could not answer the ultimate question, how do we end the eternal conflict? This is where he comes into the present story because he now has an answer, destroy all demons, which sounds like a fair plan, until we remember that humans are descended from demons and therefore are part of his target. Using the power from the demons within the Black Soul Stone, and his power to steal people's souls and use their bodies as puppets in his plan, he has set out to start his great plan by attacking the city of Westmarch, housing the vast majority of Sanctuary's population. And this is where we will come in. Enter Westmarch, rescue the citizens, and stop Malfail. And now we move into our three fast facts of the video. Firstly, did you know that the whispers you can hear coming from the Soul Stone are the same whispers you can hear by standing near a spirit healer in World of Warcraft? Secondly, did you know that the end of day's prophecy we heard in the Diablo 3 opening was not the full prophecy? The full prophecy goes as follows, And at the end of days, wisdom shall be lost, as justice falls upon the world of men. Valor shall turn to wrath, and all hope shall be swallowed by despair. Death at last shall spread its wings over all, as fate lies shattered forever. This is important as each of the angels is mentioned. Wisdom being lost is a reference to Malfael's disappearance. Justice falling is a reference to the falling star in Act 1 of the game. Valor turning to wrath is referencing Imperius' fury at the Nephilim, and all hope being swallowed by despair is a reference to Yoriel being captured by Rakanoff, the Lord of Despair. This is where I opt to in the current game. Death spreading its wings is a reference to Malfael's return as the Archangel of Death, and fate lying shattered forever could be foreshadowing the death of Ethereal. Finally, did you know that Tyriel shares his voice actor with Zuem, the Pandoran Celestial of Strength in World of Warcraft? Strength is far more than simple physical prowess. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more The Law 4, as well as other videos, and leave any lore requests in the comment section below, and we will be happy to oblige. Bye! <laughs>